Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Mr. Baby and today I am bringing you the ultimate world tournament guide. Literally everything there is to know, right? All the medals you get. What you can actually do with those medals in the world tournament, all right? The new units, the new LRs, all right? How to awaken these LRs, all the missions, all the units you want to bring into the world tournament, the leaders for these said teams, right? And also the best items to bring and actually where to get this there's a bunch of information in this video I don't know how long this video will be but it's basically catered to everyone who's been asking me questions or asking anyone any questions about the world tournament hopefully this video is the one to answer all of your questions first things first though if you hear a fan it's because there are a billion tabs open on my laptop right now so I apologize for that and if you don't hear it's because the background music is being a goat right now and taking that out also we are so close to 4,000 subscribers. The goal is to hit that by the end of the year. So if you want to support and help us get to 4,000, then consider hitting that like button and subscribe, especially if you're new, right? All right, let's hop into the World Tournament Guide now. World Tournament, obviously, it's an event um, where you basically compete against other players. It's not necessarily PvP. But you collect tour points, and the person with the most tour points at the end of the three-day world tournament period, you know, gets a bunch of rewards, right? The, the higher you, the more points you get, the higher you rank, the better your rewards. Now, there are three world tournament exclusive medals that you collect, all right? It's going to be this uh, turtle medal, this Bulma medal, and this world tournament medal, okay? So, when it comes to these Bulma and turtle medals, they're not extremely important right now you can awaken the super strike units with these metals right like all these super, these are a bunch of super strike units i know this guy isn't i think he's actually still summonable um but you can still awaken these guys with these metals now i'm telling you guys right now super strike units they may not have awakenings right now they may not have easy a's but i'm telling you start getting this start getting these units awakened because they're, I'm, I'm telling you right now, dude, they're going to start making these units eat, like, they're going to give them awakenings, easy A's, and require them to be rainbowed for certain events. Like, let's say a new LR comes out, let's say, like, um, a, a, new, a new type of Bardock comes out, very unlikely, right? Or maybe a new Frieza, and you want, you need to bring LR chilled, right? Or not... You need to bring a chilled unit, right? Or let's say a new Android unit and you need to bring Android 16. You, you get my point, right? Just start getting these Super Strike units done. I get that they're really old. No one really cares about them anymore. But they're going to become very important and I can feel... Like, actually, Dokkan Assets actually posted the assets for a Xeno Trunks. Okay? So that got my, like... Dude, like, I'm telling you guys right now, just don't forget about these units okay we do, we never know what they can actually do with the super strike units they're very old but they can make them very 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 solid all right so the world tournament medals these awaken a lot of the world tournament lrs okay uh, especially i was going to say something else but never mind um but including lr tian and chao tzu including lr piccolo who truth can't seem to pull um <laughs> lr uh puar and uh, yamcha so all the world tournament lrs but especially these world tournament units right so this tech turtles like all these units that you see here are basically world tournament units you can actually use them to awaken them when they actually get awakenings so a lot of them do get awakenings every single every single time a world tournament comes through a few units actually get their own awakenings they're very very solid so you want to make sure you actually have these medals as well now how to get these medals you can simply continue playing the world tournament there's a specific stage i think it's in the finals only where the whole field right is gold uh, medal gold awakening medal uh, equipment and you can just hop on that and it'll give you that medal so a lot of times it isn't these but also there's times where it is these so you need to make sure you want to get all the awakening medals on the field before you hop into a fight yes it takes a little bit longer but you know it is what it is now we are entering the 34th world tournament so we will be getting the trunks i'm gonna do a separate video on uh, this uh demon king piccolo but we are getting a new trunks let's Take a look at the new trunks and then come back. Actually, no, let's take a look at the missions first. So, if you place number one, dude, 15 copies. So, it's, it's like an instant rainbow, dude. Um, a bunch of tickets here. Look at the amount of orbs, dude. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, this is insane. I don't I don't think it's humanly possible. I mean, there's people who get number one, but I don't know if this like, legit, right? But, because they, they get points way too fast. I, 
like I, there's times where I'll grind like 10 hours of just non-stop and they've accumulated billions of points more than me and I'm at the hardest difficulty so it doesn't make any sense anyways so if you place within the within the 1000s I mean you get a good amount of orbs a good amount of tickets and stuff like that so I'm gonna be reaching for 1000 um, but you know sometimes I do fall below to the 2000 3000 stuff like that all right so the special missions everyone can get a copy of this trunks okay um, you can also get a copy of an Elder Kai and some SSR tickets which is very very good now, here is where you get the LR, the local rewards, okay? So, if you place number one in your local ranking, not global ranking, local ranking, you get two copies of Demon King Piccolo. So, theoretically, it would take you three world tournaments to rainbow this guy if you come in first place every single time. You can come in first place the first two times, and then as long as you come in 150th, you're going to be getting at least one copy. So, it doesn't necessarily matter, right? But look at this, you get 50 of these World Tournament Medals, 50. It takes 77 to awaken a World Tournament LR. Seven for the TUR, 70 for the LR, okay? So 70 of these medals. If you come in second or third, 40 of the medals. Fourth through 10th, 30 of the medals, and it decreases over time. You also get some tickets, um, friend points, you know, Sentu beans, and a bunch of, um, what's it called, these, the Hercule statues as well, okay? And also some stones. So I'm gonna be aiming for first place. If, when a new LR comes out, I have to go for first place, at least the first two times, um, but, and then, you know, like, let's say I only need one more copy, two more copies, whatever, and then I'll just hop into the second or third, like, play. it doesn't really matter to me too, too much, right, but I have to be going super hard so you guys can expect some streams along the way, and if you're excited for those streams, subscribe to the channel, alright, um, so in terms of wins, alright, these are also missions. All you gotta do is just win the world tournament. Um, it maxes out at 20. You can get a bunch of tickets for the world, the Dragon Ball Saga banner, some uh, training locations, some stones, some good stuff. Make sure you get this stuff done. Now for tiers, the highest tier is the beers tier. But the cool thing is you get rewards just for reaching these tiers. You get stones. You get. Um, I mean, actually, dude, this uh, grand um, uh, elder Kai. I'm sorry, grand priest. This elder Kai banner. Elder Kai. This Elder Kai medals are actually really important, especially for for like newer players to so make sure to get this stuff uh, done. Also, I mean, beers. I mean, okay, for the beers tier, I keep saying banner. For the beers tier, if you're a new player, there's a good chance you actually won't be able to reach it, um, because of all the world the, the world tour points you actually need to reach it. But I mean, I mean, you won't be able to reach it that quick, right? I mean, someone like me or someone who grinds world tournament a lot who actually has a, like a decent account. Um, we can reach this pretty quickly, but if you're a newer player, that's perfectly okay. You may not be able to reach this really quick, but if you grind extremely hard and like a lower difficulty, you might actually be able to reach it. So good luck to you. Now, in terms of your score, you have to get 30 million points to max out all of these rewards. But dude, look at all of these orbs. Look at all these stones. Here we go with the Bulma and Turtle medals. We got a bunch of tickets, uh, her uh, diamond statues, uh, or Hercule statues, my bad. A uh, bunch of Kai's like if you're going to not go hard in this world tournament I recommend at least getting 30 million points at least at the very least Get 30 million points you guys can also correct me if I'm wrong But I do believe this is that 30 million points you're in the beers tier. I could be wrong I could be wrong, uh, but I've never really calculated that so 30 million points I would say just do this and get out you get your one copy of trunks you get a bunch of elder Kai's again tickets stones uh, orbs all that good stuff, okay now this mission is the mission that loves to play around with me. You need to win 20 in a row to get all of these missions. Now, listen, there is five turtle medals and five bubble medals from this. Again, these are very important. I get that Super Strike units are not really great right now, but I'm telling you that uh, they will be uh, really important sometime you know, down the road. So make sure to get all your Super Strike units done right now. I only have one of them done because I've been slacking just like you, okay? But now, I'm, I'm aware, and I, I'm trying to make you aware. But also, again, a, not a lot of tickets, a lot of good stuff, a lot of easy stones, just from getting easy World Tournament wins. If you really want to, just do the easiest difficulty, win 20 times in a row, then go straight down to the hard difficulty and continue grinding, if that's what you really want to do. And then for extra missions, I mean, these are actually missions located in the Missions tab. So you just enter the, world, enter the, the tournament, you know, win once, win a few times, enter with a certain amount of categories, you can get a bunch of these medals. You know, just, just regular stuff, right? So, this is basically all the info for the 34th World Tournament. Let's hop straight into what this Trunks actually does. So, in type or super in type, key 2, attack and defense, or all stats 70%, very solid. 
Cause supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning. Pretty solid. Passive skill attack and defense plus 70%. Changes physical key spheres to rainbow key spheres. Medium chance of evading enemies attack including super attack. And then movie hero category allies key 2. Attack plus 20% and defense plus 10%. So, dude, if they give this guy an awakening, high chance of stun from his super attack, right? I mean, you, I don't know what his leader skill would be, but high chance of stun from his super attack. I mean, you can actually do key 3, 90% to all stats, right? Um, passive skill attack and defense plus 90%. Changes two types of orbs into rainbow. High chance of any enemy's attack, including super attack. Movie hero category allies, key 3, attack and defense plus 40%. Attack plus 50%, defense plus 25%, right? Like, you can make this guy extremely, extremely good, but this is the World Tournament uh, reward card that you guys will be grinding for if you choose to grind. All right, so now that we covered all the World Tournament info, especially for the 34th iteration, let's hop into the possible leaders that you want to bring for your team, all right? Now, there's a bunch of leaders you could possibly bring, but these are the three that I personally recommend that I found to work out the best for me okay so first uh we have str cooler str cooler not necessarily for for uh terrifying conquerors but for transformation boost he's giving key three 130 percent attack but a hundred i mean 130 percent hp but 170 percent attack and defense which is going to help you out a lot on the little tournament a lot okay now this guy again he does leave transformation boost and terrifying conquerors but we're gonna be focusing on transformation boost here if we take a look at Transformation Boost, right, you can build a full AoE team if you really wanted to of Transformation Boost. So you have Cooler, right, that's one. Um, then you have um, this Cell right here, which is to another AoE unit. I'm going to look at AoE units in just a second, all right? But you have Cell in here. You have this Frieza in here, that's also three. Um, then you have this also Cell, which is four. And then you have uh, this Broly, which is five. Um, you can run this guy, which is six. Like, you just have a good amount of options here. Right, you could actually make a full AOE team with this. So I think that Cooler could be an exceptional choice for you guys to run. But let's say you don't have Cooler. Another really solid option is this Tech Frieza. He does give all Extreme Class Key 3 120% to all stats. Now, given that most of these units fall within that Extreme Class category, if you will, um, I do think this guy will be a really great leader. But there are some, there are also some Super Class um, AOE units as well. So it really just depends on the team that you want to run last but not least i do think this guy is going to be to me he's the best one okay because sometimes like well, the way the way world tournament works is that your friend lead this the the leader skill of your friend in the passive skill and stuff they don't necessarily count for your world tournament so you're basically going off only one lead which sucks now i get this guy gives only a t uh 80 to all stats but he gives key four which is huge then he also gives key 3 and 40% or 30% attack, my bad, when he's on a rotation. So when he's on rotation, like, it's going to be really easy to super attack with this guy on rotation, especially if you're bringing two of him. So super attacking can be an issue in the World Tournament, because let's say you have STR LR Broly, who everyone loves to run in the World Tournament, but his, you know, his key links suck. So if you have this guy... Maybe, let's say, alongside another uh, Broly, like, it's going to be easier for him to get that super attack. So, I really like using this guy. He's my favorite lead, and I still have him as lead to this day. Especially with his EZA, he's definitely a lot better. All right. So, those are the three leaders that I recommend. Let's hop into all the AoE units and why they're going to be super, super good in the World Tournament. So, first, we have STRLR Broly, the infamous um, Broly. Basically, again, the, world, the way the World Tournament works is that there's going to be a bunch, like, multiple enemies. So, the way to clear the World Tournament fast is to AoE. AoE meaning area of effect. So, basically, when this guy performs a super attack, he's affecting multiple enemies and not just one. Evelar Broly, again, he is extremely, extremely strong. But more so because he launches an additional super attack guaranteed. So, and his 12 key, his 12 key is the one that, that, that is an AoE. So, you can do two AoE attacks with this guy, which is very, very, very strong, which is why he is very good. Next, we have this LR, Nappa, and Vegeta, arguably the best uh, unit for World Tournament. Now, I don't think that's necessarily the case anymore, because the Tech Maj Vegeta, who is also an AoE, we'll look at him in just a second, got his easy A. So people are going to be running him, right? The reason why this guy was so good is because there's no there was no tech enemy to you know 
basically tank his AOE. But now there kind of is, right? So it just it's going to be very interesting to see how this works. But this guy is still very solid for World Tournament. He is an AOE, and his AOE is actually on his 12 key. So make sure to get that. Next, we have LR Maja Vegeta. Now, LR Maja Vegeta, he is an AOE. I don't necessarily like using him. Um, he does. So, okay. Uh, he gets his AOE on this 18 key, right? Um, he only he only you know affects or he only attacks one enemy on his 12 key. 18 key is going to be extremely hard to get in the world tournament. I'm just saying, unless you get super lucky with rotations and key and stuff, or you have him at link level 10 or whatever the case may be. 18 key is very hard, so you're gonna have to use a bunch of key up items, which again we'll look at it in just a second. But like I would stay away from Elemaj Majida, but if you have no other choice, then you might as well go ahead and run him. Um, he does do very well against someone like STR Broly in the world tournament, right? Next, we have this LR Cell. LR Cell, I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of him. But, if you have him at Link level 10, he does. He has an AoE. He does recover a little bit of HP. And he gets key 1 and attack plus 10% per existing enemy. So, like, key is not going to be an issue for this guy. You see my point? This guy's going to be very solid. I actually might try to run him, actually. Because um, I'm actually working on his links as we speak. So... I might try and run him in the world tournament. We'll see uh, how, how it works. And again, giving having attack plus 10% and one key per enemy is going to be very strong. But just know that since he's physical, it's gonna hurt. You, it's gonna hurt you because STR Broly is gonna be doing crazy amount of damage to this guy, and this guy's AOE won't be. It won't have that crazy amount of effect against STR Broly, which means you're gonna have to use some other you know enemies or whatever to actually get that job done. But this guy is an option nonetheless. Next, we have this Krillin. This Krillin is an amazing unit. He does stack on his 18 key, but his 12 key is where the AoE lies. He's a super type unit. I necessarily don't bring super type units in, into the World Tournament because there isn't, I don't think there's like, like enough of them to make a full team or at least a cohesive team, right? When it comes to extreme, there's a bunch, there's so much more extreme class AoE units that you can actually build some type of a cohesive team and do really well in the World Tournament. But again, if you have no other option, you can bring Krillin, he does AoE with his 12 key. So, I mean, again, he's also a really solid option. The issue, like, he does get three key facing only one enemy. So, that's going to help with super attacking, but it won't. Because in the World Tournament, you're facing multiple enemies. So, you, you won't be able to get that, that ability off. So, if you're running this guy, best of luck to you. Next, we have this STR Broly. This STR Broly... Um, you know, he's not the best. This I, I see him as like a substitute for the STR LR Broly, all right? He doesn't, you know, get the same, uh, you know, additional super attack. I would give him additional though, 100%. But, I mean, like, he's not bad. He's just an option, right? Like, he's not going to be doing the craziest amount of damage or anything like that, especially with his EZA. Uh, next, we have uh, this Frieza. Now, this Frieza, I see to, like, he's going to be super effective. He's going to be helping take down STR LR Broly, which is always an issue. Going to be helping taking down, you know, the STR Cooler, which was a, a huge issue last World Tournament. And, like, he will, he, sometimes he just will, he just wouldn't die. So, this guy being AGL is going to definitely help against that. Now, the really cool thing about this guy is that he gets key plus 5 and attacking defense plus 50% when facing two enemies. So, like, he, it's an instant super attack. He has a chance to seal, and he has an AoE. This guy is very solid. And actually, I didn't have him last World Tournament. I did not. But thankfully, your boy has pulled four copies of him since. So one more to rain. But look, I I'm very excited to run, to run this dude. I think I already have him at Max Links as well. Next, we have this Boo. Now, I dude, this Boo is on Extreme. But he, he says good Boo. doesn't make any sense. Um, but this guy is an AoE. He is uh, pretty solid. He does get strong with every STR orb obtained. But that's not really necessarily going to help you out too, too much. But again, he is on extreme, so you can definitely run him, you know, on the... What what was the category for uh, transformation boost or just an extreme team as well, right? Uh, next, we do have this Broly. This Broly is a monster, okay? He doesn't necessarily do well against the S tier LR Broly, but he's still... His AoE is still very, very strong nonetheless, especially the fact that he gets 6 key. And then, let's say you bring AJ or Rose giving 4 key. That's already 10 key. It's an instant super attack for this guy. This has been doing very, very, very good. Next, we have this second form Frieza, who, by the way, is free to play. Yes, yes, this guy is free to play. So make sure to get this 
grind done. The beautiful thing about this guy is that he's tailor made for the world tournament. Attack and defense plus 60%, key plus 6, plus additional attack and defense plus 40% when facing two or more enemies. What else do you need from this guy? He is very solid. He does have an easy A. Again, he is free to play. So if you don't have him, I don't know what to tell you. Make sure to use your keys or whatever and get this guy down. This only if you want to do really well in the world tournament. Next, we have this intelligence rider who literally just got his easy A over on Global. Uh, now that he is easy A, he's going to be doing. He's looking a lot better, honestly. Again, he is still an AOE unit, looking very solid. He also gets, uh, let's see, uh, six key attack and defense plus sixty percent, and superclass enemies attack and defense minus ten percent when facing two or more enemies. The fact that he's lowering attack and defense minus ten percent for all superclass enemies, because there's times you face some superclass enemies. Um, that is actually really, really, really huge. It's going to help you survive a little bit more. It's also going to help you do a little bit more damage. So this guy is very solid. Again, he is free to play. And it's easy. It's available right now on Global. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to take care of that. Next, we have this tech, Majin Majida. Now, this is why I was saying, usually when there's an a if there's an AoE unit in the game, and there's no really strong counter to that in the world tournament, then they're just going to be running Rampage, right? That's why Nap and Vegeta were so freaking good, because by the time they came out over on JP, this guy didn't have an, this, his easy A yet, right? So when he got his easy A, that kind of like, that's not necessarily, it's not going to help out too much when it comes to, you know, Ella, Nap and Vegeta. But let's say there was no, like, STR Broly. The reason why he's not, he's not, STR Broly, I mean, he's kind of getting old, right? And since he's, all these LRs are actually getting easy A's now. FCR Bullet could be actually insane. Just give him a little bit of defense and, you know, whatever. Like, he could be actually insane um, with his super attack, but, or just with his power, right? But this Tech Munch Vegeta does stop the power of AGL, Nappa, and Vegeta, in my opinion, just by a little bit. Nothing too crazy, especially if you were running him. I necessarily don't have him, but this guy is very, very solid. He is an AoE unit nonetheless, and he does give all types key three and 60% to all stats, so he is an alternative lead just in case you don't have any of the leaders that I showed you in the beginning. Next, we do have this STR Cell, who does stack, by the way, okay? Now, on his 12 key, he, okay, so he, he gets an attack on his 10 to 11 key. Wait, let me see, actually. Um, Solar Kamehameha, 10 to 12 key, and then Extreme is 11 key. So, he does, he is an AoE unit. He is very, very, very solid. I mean, he does, he's kind of locked a little bit behind orbs, right? I um, actually don't even have this guy. He is left a little bit behind orbs, but if you can get a super attack with him, nonetheless, he's going to be looking pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Next, we do have this STR Piccolo. I think this is actually the last unit on our AOE list. I think there is like a few other AOEs, but they're like really not good. Like I know the physical Xeno Trunks is an AOE once he awakens, but he's not good. He's, he's, he's just not, right? So like I don't really care about him. Um, STR Piccolo, very solid. Key six. An additional attack and defense plus 30% when facing two or more enemies. This is a world tournament leader skill. I mean, world tournament passive skill. Like, this is, he's got, he's made for the world tournament, right? 100% um, attack, uh, defense is actually really solid as well. Chance to stun, AoE. Um, so this is another super class option for you, okay? Now, two units who are stronger than everyone that I actually uh, showed you here is this Chaozu, okay? The reason why he's so strong is, yes, he's an SR. He doesn't have an awakening, anything of the sort. But it says may stun all enemies, but guess what? That may is guaranteed, 100% chance. So the moment he pops on rotation, no one can do their attack, which makes this guy super freaking good because now you don't have to risk using items, putting units in the slot that you don't want to put them, and you can just focus on all of your AoEs, right? Personally, I don't use this method. Um, there's another unit we'll better look at in just a second. I don't use this method. I like to bring a whole team of AoEs. That way, everyone is getting their AoE off. Um, but, I mean, if you want to run this method, it is very, very solid. I know a lot of people do. A lot of people do very well with this method. And the next unit that does the same thing is this taco. Uh, I said taco. I was really about to say taco. I'm actually kind of hungry. My bad. Is Jocko. Now, Jocko, I love how his name is unexpected use, dude. Anyways, yes. He, does, he has the same ability where he stuns every single enemy the first time he appears. For once only, though, remember, like him and Chaozu, what? Am I? Him and Chaozu, okay, stun all enemies the moment they appear, but for one turn only. So if you can't clear the enemy fast enough, they this like he will die in the ultimate. He definitely will, especially in the in the later difficulties. He definitely 
will die. I am, again, I am very hungry. I do apologize for that. Now, these are all the units that I recommend you bring to the World Tournament. I'll mention the AoEs. Um, these are very interesting units as well. Let's now take a look at the item, the best items for the World Tournament, right? So, Sensu Bean and Dende. I mean, these are recover full HP. Um, these are very, very good. Android 18 and Bulma. So, they both recover 70% HP. Android 8 gets 50% defense for two turns, whereas Bulma gives it 25% attack for two turns. So it just really depends on what you want to do there, right? Princess Snake, recover 55% HP. Damage received reduced by 30% for one turn. Very solid. Um, cargo is not a bad option as well. Let's say you have like no items left after running the World Tournament, which happens. Um, and you have like a little bit of HP and you just want a little bit more. You can you can run him and give yourself a little bit a little you know HP buff. Pretty solid. Um, now. Let's continue moving down here. The Fruit of the Tree of Might gives three key for all for all allies for three turns. Very solid and definitely helps out. If, you ha if you're struggling with like a key issue, it, this is like, I think the best one out of all of them, right? Now the Rag Battle Suit, I don't know if many people have this, but it does give three key and reduce damage received for a little bit. Oolong gives key three for all allies only for one turn, um, where this, this one does for three turns, so that's why it's a lot better. The Stick and the Double Stick do the pretty, pretty much the same thing. Shu gives key three for the attacking character. So let's say SCR bullies in the first slot. You have not collected orbs yet. It'll give three key to him. But make sure that you pop Shu before you collect orbs. Because let's say you have STR bully, uh, second form Frieza, and final form Frieza on the rotation, right? Once you collect orbs for STR Broly, second form Frieza is now the attacker. So if you pop the shoe item, it's gonna give three key to, to to second form Frieza instead of STR Broly. So just make sure you know you know what you're doing there. Um, let's continue moving down here. Just the ones that are really, really good. Bulma actually uses this one a lot. All, all allies attack by, increase by 25% for five turns. Very solid. It, does, it helps you hit just a tiny bit harder and knock off the health bar of some enemies who just don't want to go down. Um, again, this Bulma unit we already looked at. This Bulma is actually really good as well. Attack and defense plus 20% for three turns. This actually does stack. So if you pop it twice, it's attacking defense um, plus 40% for three turns, which is very, very, very solid. Let's continue moving down here. Um, again, a lot of these items are pretty solid, but I'm looking at the the ones that are gonna help you out the best, right? King Yama, damage received, damage, okay. Reduce damage received by 50% for one turn, very solid. Whis, damage received, um, reduce damage received by 40% for two turns. I, I'm, dude, I'm missing these words up. You get my point. Icarus, damage received reduced by 35% for two turns. I think, I think it's actually worded differently in Dokkan, which is why I'm messing it up. It isn't like, um, re reduce damage received? Isn't that the way it works? See, look, reduce damage received right there. Boom. Okay, you you, you get why I'm messing up. Uh, Princess Snack, we already looked at that. Ox King, reduce damage received by 25% for one turn. I use this one a lot as well. Ghost Usher is a very popular one. Delay all opponent attacks for one turn. Very, very good. Chi Chi. Reduce all enemies attacking defense by 74% for one turn. This is like a, a, a like an emergency, right? You have no HP left, uh, or like a little bit of HP left. You have no items left. You're in the finals. This is where you pop the Chi-Chi, but I, I recommend saving this one. Uh, so these are also pretty good. Shamo or Shamo, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Reduce all opponents attack and defense by 30% for two turns. Very, very interesting. This mouse one is actually really good. Reduce all enemies attack and defense by 40% for two turns. Very, very solid. And then you have a few ones. A uh, Rand Fan is actually a popular one that I use. Reduce all enemies uh, or opponents attack by 25%. And Muri or Mori, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Reduce all uh, opponents defense by 25%. So those are the, all the ones that I actually use. Again, there's a bunch of really good uh, support items. But again, those are the ones that I really try to focus on because those are the ones that help out in terms of, let's say, let's say SCR Broly is lingering, right? Let me buff, let me use one of these items to increase my attack or increase or decrease his defense, right? So that way I can get the job done. Now, you may be saying, yo, Mr. Baby, look, bro. I understand these are the best items, but I just don't know where to get them, right? I I'm low on them right now. It's an emergency. The World Tournament is only coming, what, three days? What do I do? And I, my friend, have a very good solution for you. So this, uh, this, this event right here, right? Genius Bulma's Battle Prep. This comes out before the World Tournament, like a day or two before the World Tournament, okay? You have to grind the heck out of this and i will make a separate video about it because i know i know a lot of people didn't make it to the end of this video if you did i want you to comment one two three four five because i know you're a go now uh so bulma's battle prep look at all this dude L just look at all this if you if you complete it on normal these are all the ones that are available to you 
If you complete it on hard, these are all the items that are actually uh, available to you, which are very good. And if you complete it on Z hard, these are all the items that are available for you, or these are the ones that become available to you. So you just grinding this 20 times a day, dude, you get a bunch of ghost ushers, a bunch of Android 8s, and it's definitely gonna help you out in the world tournament, because the world tournament, I am using a bunch of items, like literally a bunch of items. But the more you clear this, the more of those items you get, the better off you're going to be in the world tournament. It's really nice knowing you don't have to worry about items because if you could pop items every single stage, you certainly do it, right? So if you could just, you know, get maybe 100, 200 of them, I know it's a lot of grinding, but let's say you have nothing to do. 100, 200 of each item that you really want, before the world tournament, you're going to be looking freaking good, okay? Now, because link level grind is out, I don't know about you guys, but world tournament used to be like a very detrimental grind to me. But since the link level grind has been out, I've been grinding links for so much that I'm kind of immune to that really long grind. So I wonder how, you know, how much stamina I'm gonna have for this world tournament. Last world tournament, I did a 10 hour stream, all right? And I could not touch the world tournament after that again. I think I'll put like 2000 or something like that. So. I think I can go a little bit longer. I'm going to be streaming this this will tournament maybe a few times. It won't necessarily be a 10 hour stream, but we'll see. All right. So this is basically all the information I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys still have any other questions. I'll be glad to enter them in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.